Hi, and welcome to episode 10 of Backroom Basics. I am coming to you solo today because Kira had her baby, and she's really cute. Yes, I am probably biased, but oh well. She is adorable. Her name is Hazel, and here she is. Isn't she cute? So, for my solo flight, I decided to do this video in front of a small portion of my James Dean collection. Hmm. There it is. And the topic of today's discussion, per request, is hairspray. I use a lot of hairspray. A lot. Now, there are two types of hairspray. You have your working spray and you have your finishing spray. And within the finishing sprays, you have three basic sorts. You have flexible hold, <clears throat> which to me is a total oxymoron, but it has its place. Strong hold, and then you have freezing, shellac, rock hard hold, which is my personal favorite. I have brands that I love, and I have brands that I think that are okay. I have brands that you can get at like Target, and then I have brands that are professional brands. So we have a little bit of everything for everyone. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Okay, first, my favorite, my all-time favorite that I use every day, every day, without fail, without fail, is Sebastian Reshaper. This is my child. Love it, love it, love it. I use this as a working spray and a finishing spray on myself. It offers flexible hold when you need it, but shellac super freezing hold if you use a little bit more. So I can spray it on a piece of hair, I can apply the curling iron, use it, brush it out, and I have flexible hair, but then when I need to use it as a finisher, it ain't moving. So Sebastian Reshaper for me is great because this can will last me one month. This is 10 ounces of strong hold hairspray and I get a month out of it. So I need to find something for me that is both economical and is going to hold because I wash my hair once a week. So I go home, I come home every night, I change my clothes and I brush out my hair and I just put it up into a pony because bobby pins, curling irons, all that stuff is really rough on your hair. So I like to take out the bobby pins and stuff at night. Brushing out hairspray can leave hair flaky as the days wear on. Flexible hold hairspray tends not to flake but it also tends not to really hold either. So you need a strong hold hairspray in order to hold your hair but strong hold hairsprays tend to flake. So Sebastian Reshaper is perfect because it doesn't flake. It's the only hairspray that I have found that I can use day after day after day and it doesn't flake. So that's why it's perfect for me. Professionally, when I do an updo, I use Aquage. Aquage has a working spray and they have a finishing spray. This super freezer, hardcore shellac hold finishing spray, it is going nowhere. Prom, photo shoots, that kind of thing, perfect. Aquage is a professional brand. They specialize in updos. <sighs> it's a dream. They're a dream. <sighs> oh, they're a dream. Aquash, however, for me, for daily use, wouldn't work out because it's so heavy duty that brushing it out every night after the third or fourth day, it probably would start to flake. So for proms and things like that, it's perfect because they're going to wake up the next morning. They're probably going to shampoo their hair. Wonderful. But for me, layer upon layer upon layer upon layer, eh, that's not really going to work out. Flexible hold. Stronghold, freezer hold, they all have their place. So people at work tease me about flexible hold hairsprays and how I don't, you know, <clears throat> they don't really make sense to me. And this is true. Flexible hold hairspray for me 
makes no sense. I could never hold this hairdo with a flexible hold hairspray. For somebody who wants to wear their hair down and loose in like a long layered look or something like that, and they just want to keep that kind of tousled feel, and they don't really like the way that a pomade or a wax feels on the ends, if they feel like they that weighs it down, they can use a flexible hold hairspray. Kind of give it a quick spritz, you know, kind of hold that tousled feel. That totally works. Flexible hold, flexible hold hairspray, wow, that works for them. But really for anything else, not, uh, it's, well, it's not, it's not for me. If you are shopping at Target, if you're shopping at like Sally's Beauty Supply, there's a brand called It's a 10 that was introduced to me actually by Leslie. Hi. And It's a 10 is, this is a pretty good hairspray. It holds, it, it held my hair and that's the test <laughs> to be sure. But the only issue that I had with this hairspray is that it had a scent that kind of stayed with me a little bit throughout the day. And Reshaper doesn't have that. So when I would turn and I would kind of smell it a little bit, and that for me is an issue since I'm really sensitive to smells. But it held and it worked. So thumbs up for It's a 10. And you can find It's a 10 at Sally Beauty Supply. So that one, that one is okay. I like hairspray for lots of different kinds of hair textures. Thick, thin, curly, straight. I like it right at the root area for somebody who is feeling like they don't have a lot of volume. If they do have a successful blow dry and they've got some volume at the crown that they want to keep, I like hairspray for that. I like hairspray for keeping that kind of tousled look but my favorite thing for hairspray is obviously for an updo i like hairspray for smoothing out a ponytail so if you're going to wear your hair up and it, even if you just throw it up in a ponytail which i do not approve of the throwing up of the pony in a rush but if you're putting your hair up in a quick pony smooth it please smooth smooth you're brushing your hair up Hairspray is perfect for those flyaways in the front, for those baby hairs in the front to help smooth it. It's perfect for those hairs right here in the back at the nape area that always fall down. It's perfect to get the bump in the back of the pony going, flatten that out. It's perfect to keep your pony smooth all day. And I also like to spray it into a high pony to get some, you know, to get some movement and texture into that pony. Because if you have like a little bit finer hair and your hair's up in a pony and the ponytail's just flat to your head, that doesn't really look cute. That's not hot. But if you, if you kind of pull out the ponytail and you give it a little bit of life, then you spray a little bit of hairspray into that. You can use flexible hold for this. However, I like strong hold. You know, gives it a little bit of life. We like life in our hair. If you're putting your hair up into a bun, a sock bun, if you're twisting it into a bun, you need to use a little bit of hairspray in order to hold it. It's perfect for that. Okay, so enough about flexible hold hairspray. Strong hold. Strong hold is like a medium hold hairspray. This is perfect for a working hold hairspray. It's perfect for when you're using a curling iron and you want that curl to hold, especially if you feel like your hair is really, really stubborn and it doesn't hold a curl. It's perfect for that. So when you're pulling out your sections, using your hairspray, give it a little, give a little spritz, work in your curling iron, and then you're using your strong freezer shellac hold hairspray at the end. Strong hold hairspray is perfect for that. Strong hold hairspray is perfect for the pony. It's perfect for a shorter hairdo where you're not, again, super comfortable with pomades or you don't want it really, really spiky, but you have a certain way that you want it to lay. It's perfect for that as well. So Stronghold Hairspray, it's that perfect kind of middle ground. If you don't like that super stiff rock hard feel like I like, but you need it to really, you need it to stay in place. So Stronghold Hairspray, thumbs up for that. Freezer hold shellac hairspray. My personal favorite. Updos, updos, 
updos. Prom, weddings, photo shoots, that's when rock hard hold really needs to come into play. Hair like this on a daily basis, not a lot of people are wearing that, so you don't need freezer hold hairspray. I do. But if you are sending a girl to prom and she is going to be dancing the night away with her friends, if you are sending a woman to get married, if you are getting married yourself and your stylist is using only a strong hold or God forbid a flexible hold hairspray as your finishing spray, <laughs> your hair is not going to hold. It is going to fall quickly. Your curls are going to die a slow, painful death. And you're going to be dancing with your husband, your new shiny husband on the dance floor. And you're going to feel those curls start to fall. Horror show. Picture the horror movie screams coming out of my mouth right now. That is when freezer hold hairspray is needed. I know that it's not popular to have rock hard hair. Not a lot of people want to feel their hair and think, you know, like knock, 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 knock. That, not a lot of people want that. But it's extremely important for those moments that have to last. You want shellac. Trust me. Okay, <clears throat> confessional time. When I was a younger hairstylist, oh so long ago, before Reshaper came into my life, I used a brand that I got at Target, and it held. It holds. It is extremely inexpensive. It has no scent. I was able to use it as a working spray and a finisher. It's non-aerosol and its name is Suave. Suave worked for me actually for a really, really long time. I was able to brush it out every night. I was able to wash my hair once a week. The issue with Suave, however, is that it eventually started to leave this gummy substance right here in the front. That really didn't wash out. So after Reshaper came into my life and I was able to get rid of Suave, I was very, very happy. But in a pinch, in a super pinch, confessional time, I was able to use Suave. I know, <clears throat> secrets revealed. I hope this helps. I hope this helps, um, you know, let people know about Hairspray, the unsung hero of the hair products industry, my personal favorite. Thank you for joining me for episode 10 of Backroom Basics. Episode 11 will be the Laverne and Shirley show once again, as we will be doing it with Aaron Lopez and Kira Frost. Thank you so much for supporting us here at As The Curl Turns. We are super excited to be doing these videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on my blog or right here on this video channel. And once again, thank you so much for joining us here on Backroom Basics via As The Curl Turns.